Veterans, when you joined your branch of the service, you made an exchange. You signed the dotted line and you said, I will give you my life in exchange for the skills necessary to be good at this job, to be successful at this job, and to come home safely. You made that exchange. Hi, I'm Arlen. I'm a veteran of the 3rd Ranger Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment, and I want to just give you a heads up of something that may be happening to you as we speak. It may be something that's, that's coming up as you make your transition into civilian life. And I just want you to know about it ahead of time. So you began. The military went to work on you. They shipped you off to boot camp. They gave you all the same clothes to wear. They shaved everybody's heads. You all looked the same. And essentially what was happening is they were stripping you of your identity. You showed up to boot camp with an identity. You were somebody when you when you went there. Your friends knew you as, as one person. Your, friend, your family knew you as, as this person. And when you got to boot camp, they took it away from you, packed all your civilian stuff in a closet somewhere, and said, this, this version of this person is no longer valuable because it doesn't suit the needs of the military, right? Push that, push that identity aside. And they begin to build you up. They begin to um, reshape you, reform you into what they want you to be, who they want you to be, right? And they begin to tell you who you are and, and what you are. And, and at some point, you begin to believe them. If you were infantry, they told you you're a killer. And they have you screaming uh, about killing, and, and you begin to believe it. And it begins to take root in your mind. Um, and you learn to work as a team, and, and you learn to place the mission first at all costs, no matter what. Now, and regardless of whatever career selection it was, there was camaraderie and there was pride within your unit and you believed, you started to believe that you were who they said you were and you could do what they said you could do. They replaced your identity. They took who you were and they threw it away and they turned you into something different. They gave you a new identity and that's okay. That's, that's completely fine. That's great and wonderful, man. Like, that's, that's fully necessary to be successful at the job that you've chosen. You have to go all in. You have to buy in mentally and, and, and begin to believe that. Otherwise, you don't fit in. Otherwise, you're miserable the entire time that you're in. So you essentially have to agree to this new identity and embrace it or just be miserable. So it's, it's necessary and it's not even a problem until you decide to get out. Then it becomes a problem. When, when you start to make the transition from military to civilian life, um, you're, you're still this military person. You're still this military identity, and it's not going to work in the civilian life. So the excitement about getting out, everybody gets excited about ETSing and, and getting out, and the excitement about getting out and going, oh yeah, I'm going to get out and conquer the world, um, that's a beautiful thought. But man, that excitement can cloud your vision as to what's really happening. And so that's, that's why I'm making this video today, is I want to help you out. The issue is that the military doesn't do a good job of, of deprogramming you, of getting you ready for re-entry into the civilian life. They just don't, at least they didn't for me. So you get out and you, you get lost very quickly. You, you, you don't fit in anywhere. Um, even with your old friends, you feel like a fish out of water. You start to feel like this, this square peg trying to fit in a round hole and, and you're just lost. And it's, and, and it's easy to become depressed. And, and, and you, can't, you can't talk to anybody about it because none of your friends would understand. None of the people that you grew up with would understand. Your family won't understand. There's nobody that understands because all your buddies are still in the military or they got out too and they went back home. Nobody around you understands. So you feel isolated. You begin to isolate and feel like nobody gets me. Why even talk about it? Right? So, so you either... You either run back to the military, you get back in, or you, or you, you fill every waking second with work, or you maybe um, begin to self-medicate with drugs and alcohol, or, uh, or you just spiral into oblivion. You spiral into depression, and, and you get lower and lower and lower. And this is the point where guys take their lives because they, they get so depressed, they begin to believe, I don't fit in anywhere. And then they begin to believe that I'm just a burden to everybody else around me. Everybody would be better off if I was gone. Let me just stop here. That's not true. 
If, if, if these are thoughts that are going in your head, that's a lie. And don't believe that for a second. You need to reach out, you need to get some help, okay? It's, it's time to get some help if you're in that space, all right? Yesterday, you should have gotten help, all right? Now, that that's my story in a nutshell. That's a very condensed um, version of my story. That's the path that I walked my, when, I, when I got out, but I'm here to tell you that I found the way out. I found my way out of it. Through my faith, through my family, through my friends, I was able to walk out of that space and discover the answer to all of this. And, and, and here's the very short answer for this video for the sake of time. The short answer is you need a new identity. You need a new identity. You had one when you went to the military. They, they took it away, they replaced it, they, they gave you something new. Now you need a new one. Because the, the military version of you is not going to work in civilian life. You need a new purpose for your life. You need to discover what makes you tick. You need to do some deep self-reflection and figure out Man, what fires me up? What gets me excited? What inspires me to dream again? Okay? Because those things are still in there. And you believe them to be dead right now. Those things are, you feel like those things are dead inside you. They're not. They're still there. But you have to rediscover them. And this is going to take some deep self-reflection, some deep inner work on your part. You're going to have to be very honest with yourself and very honest with people around you. Because you, you, you're going to have to swallow a lot of pride. Okay? And, and get over yourself and go, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to a healthy mental space, all right? Now, I don't have time to show you fully the, the way out in this video, but I do wanna let you know that, friend, there is a way out. There is a way out. You can do it, you can make it. There's hope for you, all right? You, you can become a person again. You can even feel again, all right? Your, your emotions are not gone, they can come back. All right, but it's it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen uh, in just a couple of days. It's 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 going to take a long time. It's going to take a process. Uh, and what I'm sharing with you, man, this is this has been my journey for the last 15 years. Okay, so it's it's not easy, but you, but it's every day choosing. Every day I'm going to get up and I'm going to try again. Every day I'm going to get up and I'm going to do better. I'm going to make a little bit more progress. So. I want you to be willing to do the hard work, to begin to self-reflect, to begin to rediscover those things that ignite you, that fire you up, make you excited about life. Um, you can do it. You can do it. Now, if this message resonates with you, um, or you know somebody walking through this, or somebody that's about to, to transition into civilian life, um, would you just do me a favor and share this with them? That, that's, that's my only hope, my only goal, is to, is to um, add something to your life even if that's just hope, I want to give you hope that there is another side to this and you can make it out.